Okay, today we're going to do bird restraint. So we're going to do some demonstrations on capture and restraint for both our big bird friends and our little bird friends. So with um, capture and then restraint, the number one tool that you're going to want to have for any of your bird patients is going to be a size appropriate towel. So for my big parrot friend, I'm going to have a bath towel. And then for my little guy, I'm going to have something smaller, like a wash rag or hand towel, that kind of thing. And there's a number of reasons for this. Um, we don't want our bird patients to become hand shy um, and to think of the hand as, you know, not good. So we use the towel for that purpose. And then also in some cases, the oils and stuff on our hands can actually discolor feathers on some of these guys and cause feather damage. So that's something else we want to avoid. So let's start off with our little friend. Um, so we have just a little guy um, who's maybe hanging out in his cage. And um, if that's the case, what we generally say is dark in the room. Um, you can have the um, owner open the door for you so that you can kind of go in and just capture him in the cage with your hand behind a towel. So once you have captured him, you can kind of remove him from his cage and then readjust your restraint as needed. So with these little guys, I like to capture them with my whole hand. So you can see my whole hand here is just kind of tacoing this little bird body, right? So that's how I generally like to capture them. You can see his wings are folded nicely down the sides of the towel. And that's another reason the towel is nice is to kind of keep those wings in place so that we're not breaking bones or feathers or anything like that. But when it's time to actually do an exam or perform um, medication administration or anything like that, I do want to adjust my um, restraint a little bit. So I'll capture the little bird with a towel and I'll go like this with my fingers kind of around the neck um, for the actual restraint. So in this case, um, the doctor can again come in, do a full physical exam, listen to the heart, um, do a cloacal exam as needed. Um, be able to perform any medication administration, et cetera, okay? So this is also um, same kind of um, thing where you're putting your hands um, around the bird's body. We are never, ever applying any pressure, though, over uh, the bird's body, right? We remember um, their breathing system is quite a bit different, so we never apply any pressure directly over the chest, okay? Only enough to really kind of keep the wings in um, and you can do this also with the towel. It just takes a little bit more um, adjusting. So you might have a friend um, or the vet who's um, you know, helping you or you're helping them kind of help you um, adjust with the towel so you can really get a nice firm restraint around the neck. Do remember, birds have complete tracheal rings, so you can apply a little bit of pressure around their trachea, um, and it's not going to cause them any issues with breathing. But if you apply any pressure over the chest at all, they can have uh, some pretty quick issues, okay? Um, the other thing with little birds like this is sometimes um, they're friendly and used to being out on the owner. Um, and so they'll be like perched on the owner's finger, right? And so if that's the case, you don't want to capture the bird off the owner's finger. That's never good. Because um, then they associate, you know, badness with their mom or dad. Um, but what you can do is ask them to step up onto your own finger, right? So now he's on my finger, and I can go ahead and kind of just come in and capture him like that, okay? All right, so that's your little bird, okay? Now, you all are working with bigger parrots when we do our live bird lab. So we want to use a little bit bigger of a towel when we're working with these guys, and we want really a majority of the towel to be over their head and their beak area, right? So we have a bath towel. This is long ways. You want to hold it um, so that it's lengthwise very long because this is how you're going to throw the towel to capture the parrot. Now, in some cases and with some of the birds that we will use, the owner will go ahead and put the bird down on the table, in which case you'll just come on over and throw the towel. Right? Um, in some of our other birds that we use, um, the owner will go ahead and put the bird down on the table. The bird knows what's coming. The bird's going to jump and, you know, jump off the table. Um, that's where, again, your towel throwing skills are going to come in kind of handy, um, especially with the moving target. 
So I've got about half of the towel, you can see about half of it over my arms, half of it down. I want this top part to go over the bird's head. So I want more of the towel kind of in the front of the bird, okay? Once I throw the towel, the bird's gonna stop. Now some birds are gonna keep running with the towel over their body. Most of these uh, that we work with are gonna stop. That's your opportunity to come in over the shoulders of the bird. So kind of determine where his head is, you'll know, and come over the shoulders of the bird. There's a reason for this. One, to kind of capture around his neck so he can't turn around and bite you, but then also making sure that his wings are nice and uh, folded and tucked under the towel so no damage is gonna to happen to them. So once I know where his head is, I'm gonna kind of pick him up either off the table or off the floor, whatever the case might be. I'm gonna pick him up and I'm gonna bring him to the table where we're working or our workspace, wherever it is. And I'm gonna present the bird. I'm gonna present him kind of over my arm like this. So I'm holding the bird's head around both sides of the neck. And I'm gonna present him over this arm. Okay, and I'm doing this right-handed, okay? So I'm presenting him over my arm. And from here, we can kind of come in, unfold the towel a little bit. He's chomping on all of this towel, by the way. Um, but we can come in and find his little feet because that's what we need to do as a nail trim, right? So at this point, I can see um, his feathers are nicely folded. If he's kind of flapping a little bit, I can hold his tail feathers and his wing feathers kind of like this, just down below. Um, and then a partner is gonna come in and do the Dremel nail trim. But at this point, with the towel kind of over um, his head, it opens it up for me to watch his breathing, right? So I can watch how fast his breathing has become or if he's becoming distressed in any way, okay? So let's do that one more time. Um, so we're gonna have our bird on the table or he's flown off and he's landed on the floor. We're gonna take our towel about halfway and we're going to toss it just as quickly as we can over the bird. Of course, that didn't work. As soon as the towel is covering the bird, um, you find where the head is, kind of grab around the sides of the head, right, or the sides of the neck, and you're going to kind of pick him up, take him to your workstation, present him. We want the bird laying on his back, okay? At that point, when he's presented, you can flip the towel, find his feet, watch his breathing, hold the feathers as needed. Okay, that is really how you're going to do your bird restraint.